Brand new details regarding the Intel Arc Alchemist lineup of gaming graphics cards has been leaked by Moore's Law is Dead. The new leaks cover the performance and positioning of various GPU configurations within the Arc lineup, which is scheduled to launch on quarter one of 2022. According to the rumor, Intel will have at least three different configurations for the Arc Alchemist GPUs ready to launch in 2022. These will include two configurations based on the top 512 EU die and one configuration based on the 128 EU die. Although there are more GPU configurations that we've seen in other leaks, it looks like those may be used for future products that cannot be confirmed at this time. So let's start off with the top end configuration. The top Alchemist 512 EU variant has just one configuration listed so far that utilizes the full die with 4096 cores and up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The XE HPG Alchemist 512 EU chip is suggested to feature clocks of around 2.2 all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz. Although we don't know if these are the average clock speeds or the maximum boost clock speeds. The gaming graphics card is expected to be faster than the RX 6700 XT and the RTX 3070 at this point. The performance is expected to improve even after launch. It's also been stated that Intel's initial TDP target was 225 to 250 watts, but that's now been up to 275 watts. Moving on, we have the Intel Alchemist 384 GPU, which will be a cutdown variant of the 512 EU die. The 384 EU chip will feature 3072 cores, up to 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and a 192 bit bus interface. The card would also feature TDP of roughly about 200 watts, and is expected to feature performance similar to NVIDIA's RTX 3060 or the RTX 3060 Ti. Then lastly, we have the Intel XE HPG Alchemist 128 EU parts. The top config will feature 1024 cores, a 64-bit bus interface, and up to 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The cut down variant will feature just 768 cores and 4 gigabytes of memory across the same 64-bit bus interface. The chip will also feature a clock speeds ranging from 2.2 to 2.5 gigahertz with a sub 75 watt power consumption. This means that this graphics card won't need an extra connector. Performance is expected to land between the GTX 1650 and the GTX 1650 Super with ray tracing capabilities. One big advantage that Intel has over AMD is that Intel could potentially position these cards in the sub 250 US market, which has been fairly untouched by both Nvidia and AMD. Based on the timeline, these Alchemist lineups will be competing against NVIDIA's Ampere and AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs since both companies aren't expected to launch their next-gen parts until the very end of 2022. But what do you want to see in Intel's Arc Alchemist graphics cards? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.